Some international visitors are traveling to North Dakota, but not for vacation. No, for vacation research. Yeah. Here's Alexis Arthur with more. Visitors from all over the world are in North Dakota. We are trying to promote North Dakota. Tourists took the road less traveled on and made a stop at the Fort Berthold Reservation. We want to bring them off to the beaten, off to the beaten path, you know, off to sites they normally don't see. And it's safe to say for this group, there's more here than what initially meets the eye. Wherever we go, in particularly here and now in North Dakota, that's, there's something wonderful to see and learn about. The Australian tour operator says that one in 20 Australians visit America, and many more than once. Learning about Wild well, West and Native American culture, so this is absolutely something that they would love to know about. The tour operators, or travel guides as we call them here, Notice that many first-time tourists want to see the big cities, but when they come back for a second time, they want to discover something different. Maybe for a second or a third travel to the U.S. can be a good, uh, very nice destination, especially for the one who loves the Western history. We want to tell our story as we know it. For us, this really is the real America, and it's what we grew up with, and it's what we you know, have, have that um, idealized picture of. And so to find out that it's kind of still here and represented, that's exciting for us. North Dakota is becoming a landmark. North Dakota is the new frontier. We're ready for the tourists to come in to make that economic impact. Sometimes when you travel off the beaten path, you'll find some of America's greatest discoveries. In MHA Nation, Alexis Arthur, KX News. The next stop for the visitors is the mine is in Minot at the Scandinavian Heritage Center. And now here's our photo finish. Take a look at this beautiful 